tried to i mean again i want to commend my majority leader senator unger who chaired the task force and all the members of the of the senate those uh, that were members of the task force and those that just gave input but you know it was important i think for people to uh, to first of all hear from the public which we did with a round of public hearings around the state and once that was concluded then to have uh, the opportunity for the each senator and senators from each current district to draw their preferred map and then once those were in the hopper, we were able to do overlays with those and try to, within the boundaries of the uh, 109 constitutional mandate as the ideal district, uh, try to work from there, uh, trying to keep counties as whole as we could, communities of interest together, things of that nature, so that at the end of the day, from the vote, uh, obviously it was not unanimous, certainly, but uh, it was, uh, I think, over fairly overwhelming that uh, it passed uh, with uh, a, lot, a significant margin, so I'm comfortable that overall the, the senators are pleased with their current district. Now we have before us a product that if not most, if not all, is okay with. I'm not saying they're happy jumping up and down, they're going to be celebrating after it passes, but it's something that each and every one of us can live with. Mr. President, I'll say to you that I have tried, the staff has tried to be accommodating to each and every member, regardless of the party affiliation, regardless of their political persuasion, regardless of anything, we have been open, we have been transparent, and that door has always been open for any member that wanted to come in. It's all about taking care of them. They've called people in, they've twisted arms, uh, they've threatened people. Anybody that they hear that might not be on their side, uh, they threaten to. They threatened Senator Green, talk to him. They threatened Senator McCabe. They threatened anybody. And you know, that's pretty, it borders on what? The unethical, number one. Number two, it's illegal. You start threatening people uh, to vote for me or else I'm going to do something to you. There's all kinds of lawsuits on those kinds of issues. No one ever walks out of one of these things, truthfully, Steve, where you're 100% happy and got everything you want due to the fact that we're a, a, a diverse state with a, a funny shape, obviously, and, uh, and different topography with mountains and whatever. It's, it's hard to get that compactness of, of areas together sometimes without going over yeah. mountain ranges or across rivers and things. And, and, uh, but at the end of the day, I think all the, the districts represent a, a segment of the state that will be uh, uh, identifiable, easily identifiable by the public so that people will know who's my senator when there's a problem, who do I call, where do I make a complaint, and, and secondly, that the senators will have the ability to meet with their constituents and represent them here to the best of their ability in charge.